What is up, you guys? It is RJ. We are back with another girl group catch up, or should I say girl groups plus a soloist. Novice has made her debut with Dunn. I'm so curious about this. Like, honestly, I, I don't even know what to think. But we also have the debut of Meow. I think that's how that's pronounced. We also have the debut of Maiden. <laughs> and then we have La Seraphim at the end. So this is gonna be a very interesting mix up because three of these I have no idea what to expect. And then La Seraphim, uh, we have an English version of Crazy, which I'm excited to hear. So yeah, let's go. So I read, and I don't know if this is true or not, that Ning Ning is doing the voice of Novice. Um, so I guess I'll listen out for that. I'm pretty familiar with Ning, Ning, Ning Ning's voice, I feel like, but I guess we'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to be blown away by the animation for the most part, though. And what is this song going to be like? Is she doing music shows? I mean, I guess you can. Plave is doing them, but Plave is also, they're VTubers. I'm pretty sure this is more like Maeve here, right? Because this isn't mocap. This is like actual and computer generated person, right? I don't know. Let's go. Done. She's done. Okay, do I need to read all this? The first chapter of Novice from Kwanga. In 1991, at the dawn of, if you want to skip this, skip it. <laughs> at the dawn of global internet connectivity emerged Novice, one of two artificial intelligences born amidst the digital wilderness Kwanga. As Novice absorbs data from the real world flowing into Kwanga, she initiates her first interaction with a girl from the real world, gradually assimilating human emotions and sensibilities driven by a strong desire to enter the real world. Novice manifests herself through the opened POS. All right. <laughs> they have a whole world. Honestly, I wonder what their plan is for this. Because if this does well, they're going to continue, right? Hey, girl, hey. Okay. Versions of her? Is that a real person? This is tripping me out. It's like scaring me because she looks real, but she doesn't. It's like. The song is cute. Lord. 
This digital age that we live in is honestly terrifying. I... Okay, before we get to novice, the song is is it's it's cool. Um, it's kind of a little dark and moody, actually, uh, not what I expected. But then again, given the, I guess given the thumbnail, which isn't much, I'm not totally sure what I expected to get. Um, I did kind of hear Ning Ning, so if it is her, then great, because I mean she's a, an amazing vocalist, and I feel like that was a good idea to have her as the um, the vocal person doing novice i don't know that i'd replay this song though but to be honest with you maybe i need to listen to it without the music video because i was so distracted like is this a person and they've digitally altered the face with the whole is the cgi the fakeness because there were moments where i just couldn't figure out if i'm watching like a real human or not and then i couldn't tell if like the body doing the choreography is the real person or if like like what Cause like the mo the movements are so incredibly smooth. Is her jacket like legit or is that fake? Cause if it's not real, I'm scared. <laughs> like the wow, the realism, wow, the realism. The moments when she switched into this form, I was like way okay. But the moments where like she was looking at me, like she was looking into my soul for real, I could not take it. Like this looks like a real person. But then you look at her hair. The voice is pretty. Like, like, okay, okay. This is obviously not a real person. But I'm talking about the body, the movements. They did a damn good job though. I mean, I'm kind of into it. Yeah, like I think in my opinion, I, I kind of want to see more. I want to see what happens next. Like this is a cool song, but yeah. I, I guess that's it for me. <laughs> I guess this is kind of the thing when, you, when you're dealing with like virtual um, artists, you know, it's it's a bit of a spectacle in a way. You are a bit more, maybe for me, I can only speak for myself, but I feel like in some ways I'm a bit more drawn to the quality of the virtual figure and whether or not it's convincing me that time was spent and money was spent and things were put into this to actually give us a legitimate product and artist and whatnot you know what i mean because any they can put anybody that can sing really well behind this but like the whole thing has to be selling you and to me it's doing a very good job um but now that it's sold me i want to see more and i kind of want to see what else we're going to do with this because i feel like that's going to be really interesting like we've gotten what mave and mave isn't sm obviously but mave is a, a whole girl group virtual girl group and it's very interesting looking at that. And that looks it looks actually slightly different from Novice. And then you've got a group like Plave, who is mo capture. And those are real people moving and doing all those things with a virtual facade, you know what I mean? And so that's a whole different side of the virtual aspect of this. So then, you know, I don't know, it's very cool. But yeah, I just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm curious where this is going to go. All right, next up we have Meow with Meow. Um, wow, they're all so pretty. Per usual, um, I don't know anything about this group. I just know they debuted recently with the Black Label, which I believe is a subsidiary of YG, right? But yeah, meow, let's go. Bad Villain is under there. And they're all gorgeous. Meow. Okay, are there lyrics? Okay. You have some nice singing that was chic. Now you speak French, I can't buy we. I put in life full of our keys. Kind and kitty, I can't keep up with me. Try and match my energy. Wow, I like her voice. She looks familiar, that girl. She's 
shake some meow? Break some? I like the almost siren in the background. Oh! Beautiful vocals. She's gorgeous. That was sick. Sasquatch? What in the... <laughs> oh! She hit me in the face with that ponytail. The choreo looks really cool and really fun. Not her doing this pet the kitty. Oh, that's it? That's the end? Oh, okay. Well, that wow, that was very short. <laughs> I wanted to see this dip into the uh, the chorus again. Yeah, this girl, she looks really familiar. I don't know why. Hey. I like that part. It's a hype song. I mean, you know, it's got attitude. It's got attitude and they're delivering that. And I, I enjoy that a lot. And their vocals are really, really pretty. Um, obviously, I'm not familiar with the names of each member yet. The beat was pretty cool. It was fun. Um, yeah, this is this is the type of song you put on before you go out. It's given that kind of vibe, but I think they did a cool job. Another, uh, this is another situation where like you know you have a debut, um, and I really want to see the comeback. Obviously, they just debuted, but the comeback is usually where it's at for me. Like, cause are they gonna give us the same vibe? Are they gonna change it up? Like, what's it gonna look like? They they have an opportunity to show who they are with the debut, and then come back with something else to show. And I don't know. That's always really exciting. But I'm intrigued by this group, really. Um, so I'm excited for them. I'm excited to see what happens next too. All right, we are on to our third debut, <laughs> Maiden with Una, um, another group I know really nothing about. Um, so I got nothing to say, but let's go. Wow. 
I love. I, it's so pretty. I'm talking about the vocals, but the imagery as well. Hey. That made me reminded me of Ditto. I love the formations. Hey, this choreo. Ooh. I really like this. <laughs> wow. To be continued. Oh, John Lee, good job, sir. The whole team. Wow, seriously, the visuals of this music video, so sick. Uh, just simply clap for that because, wow, the imagery. Oh, it was like something out of like a, a storybook or a video game almost, but they were in a giant library. So like, I kind of wonder, um, like, wow, you guys, I can't even talk about the song yet. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me of those like super HD wallpapers that you could like find on Google or whatever. Like, wow, just wow. 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 Uh, yeah, this is a really, really, really good song. Definitely my favorite one we've heard uh, thus far. Wow, I'm just like honestly blown away by the visuals. They're all just so cool. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, the song was so cool. It was, it was, it had like such a dreamy atmosphere at the beginning, very kind of floaty. And then I loved the fast, like paced beat. I wanted to say drum and bass, but like almost kind of not really, unless it was, and I just couldn't distinguish it because it kind of felt like a fusion. I like the Spanish of the um, the chorus. I also like the vocal chops um, that were happening for what was the post chorus, I think. Um, just a really well constructed song. That was definitely my favorite one. I would replay this one for sure. This is another one of those things. Um, I'm not super familiar with the, the company that this group is with, but this is like one of my first times seeing a music video in this way, especially the way that this was displayed at the end, like the credits, like this to be continued thing makes me wonder like if, what their concept is supposed to be like. And then again, like I said, as a debut, like what is this gonna, what's gonna happen after this? Like, like those ideas are really fun because they get to do a lot from here. They just, they just started, you know? Something I feel like I want to look up after this is a dance practice or maybe a performance video or something like that because I really liked what choreo was shown here um, and I want to see the full thing because they all look like really incredible dancers and they all seem very young as well. Um, but yeah, that was great. Okie doke, last up on our list is Crazy by the Seraphim. English version. I'm curious about this. <laughs> Let's go. Like an angel and dress like crazy. Oh my god! The outfits! Sucker! Wow! Chewan is eating this bob up. I'm kind of into this though. <laughs> I love her voice on this song. 
crazy, 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 wow, I like this version. Crazy, 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 crazy. Act like an angel and dress like crazy. Oh, so the the ponytail Act flip. Like an angel and dress like crazy. Yeah, that was great. I like her shirt. Wow, Kazuwa. They look insanely great. Wow. Wow, they seriously look incredible. The good thing is, the English doesn't sound weird or anything, you know? <laughs> yeah i say that because like sometimes at least for me i'm not always a fan of like the different versions of songs that come out sometimes especially when a song is like presented to us initially in Korean and then they come out with like an English version usually for me it doesn't work because sometimes it kind of feels a bit like um I don't know like sometimes it doesn't flow as naturally for me and it could be just be because I'm so used to the Korean version but in this case it worked for me like I would actually listen to this a lot I like this version and the MV wow the looks are just so good like the looks are looking like they're really eating this era like it's so good like all just everything down to the song to the choreo the outfits the the videos like it's all just like really really well done a lot of interesting stuff we checked out today uh i will be keeping up on all of these uh, obviously i'm already keeping up with the seraphim but i'm talking about novice meow and maiden because all of them were very interesting debuts all very cool songs um, and I'm really excited for their futures. So yeah, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me here and I'll see you guys on the next video later.